What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are going to be general messages for the star sign of Aries from May 25th to the 31st of May 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will have percent correlate to your store because they're specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already gone ahead and pulled your cards off camera for you, Aries. So let's get right into it. You got the Five of Swords, Major Arcana Card of Justice, and the Eight of Wands. <sighs> all right, get ready for this one. The Five of Swords represents a situation in which somebody was... Defeatful on purpose. Somebody was an asshole in this situation. I get this as the asshole card. Um, if you were to look at this card, he is kind of in a play fight with these people. It's kind of um, foreshadowed by the energy that this was kind of a a sword fight, but it was kind of done to hone in on skills. It was it wasn't where they were trying to actually all kill each other. They're walking away unscathed, so it was more like a play battle. But he kind of he was the victor in this situation. Instead of like being a good sport about it, he is taking things from them. He's stealing their fucking swords. He's like, I'm the victor, this is mine. So it's a defeat at a very it, it's Either a defeat or a win at a steep cost, where it's actually not a win. Um, this represents somebody that could have done this to you, or that you are doing this. I get this more that this has happened to you. Either now or in the past, and it's coming up now. Um, but this is something where the person would have been stepping on toes, walking on eggshells around this person. This person would have been set out to actually do you harm. Maybe not intentional in it, not intentionally for a lot of you, but for some of you, maybe. Um, but he, you know, he wasn't careful with the way that he was treating you, and it showed. There was a situation because of this where I feel when this shit happens, it's kind of like a okay, well, that kind of sucks, and that doesn't that didn't go the way that I think that would have gone. I kind of want things to have ended better, and I kind of feel like there is a karma in this reading with justice. I feel like I feel like something happened with this past person because it was either a person or a situation, but people are situations, so it's going to be something where something with somebody that was probably unbalanced, unfair. This person was a dick. I kind of feel. Like, something is going to be feeling fair to you. Because I kind of see this as a pass card. And I kind of see justice coming in to be here presently. I feel like something is going to be happening with this person. Where it's going to make you feel like justice is served. Or things are going to become fair. Justice is a legal karmic card. Where it could literally indicate that you had some sort of legal matters with this person. I'm going to actually say that in this spread. It's possible that this could be like a baby daddy, ba baby mommy having a fight for custody. It could be like that. It doesn't have to be. Take that however it resonates, please, Aries. Um, but it's going to be something in which justice is an equal balance. Um, it's kind of like if you do good in the eye of society, kind of like judgment. Uh, judgment's more karmic, but it's kind of if you do good in the eye of society. Like, let's say that you get a speeding ticket. Um, and you, okay, actually, no, let me get, let me use a better example of that. Let's say that you, you, you get into a car accident. Um, you, you, you rear end somebody, it's going to be your fault. You get to decide if you want to step out of that car and deal with insurance and, you know, it's, it's your fault. So you're going to have to man up to it. Not man up. I hate that phrase. I'm sorry. You're going to have to kind of live up to your consequences of actions kind of thing. Um, or you could do a hit and run. And one of those is going to have a really fucking bad outcome for you. They might kind of have both shitty outcomes because, you know, you're going to have to pay fines on it. But you're not going to go to jail over over it. You're not, you hit this person. You're not going to go to jail because you got out of the car. You called the police. You reported it. You didn't hit and run where somebody could have been seriously injured. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be something that is karmically... Um, you do good in the way of society, you, you portray yourself as well, you do good things, you are good, you do good things, that good, that karma comes back to you. So I feel like there's some sort of karma coming back with this person, and I feel like a message is coming in, communication. I feel like you will be having communication with this person. It's possible that this person wants to offer you something, or at least communicate with you, to make things feel more fair, because the Eight of Wands represents 
represents is going to be something that you might not see coming. It is a ra very rapid transformation card where this comes in over near, over air overnight. It's, it's this very swift. The Eight of Wands is this almost the fastest moving card in the deck. I am going to ask for clarity what this is specifically, what message this is as I'm doing this, what specific message this is. But the Eight of Wands is always... Invite, invitation over air. It is communication. This is at least going to be communication. It is a gung-ho card. Something coming in very fast with communication with either the situation or person. It's probably going to make you feel balanced. But I would like to know... Uh, I had a very obvious question that I wanted to ask and I forget what it was. Um, where, what is this... What is this message? The Eight of Wands. Can you tell me more, a, a little bit more about the Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? And what is what is the message that's going to be coming in to Aries? Oh, I f ah, I'm going to do it. Oh! <laughs> I got it reversed. But everything was reversed. So I have to read the separate. <sighs> okay, Aries. A lot of you are going to be... Finding out if somebody did this shitty to you, if somebody did something shitty to you and you didn't have the answers, you are going to receive them. Somebody is going to be communicating with you why they were like this, why they did this thing, why they broke your heart, why they stabbed you in the back, why they betrayed you, why... It's going to be something that hurts. It's going to be the painful truth to a situation, but I would like you to know that this is going to be fair. It is going to be some sort of karmic card that you had this answer coming to you for a lot of you. I'm gonna... I'm going through this, so I'm going to use this as an example for other people if they want to resonate with this as well because we're all it's weird how things work with different star signs but i got ghosted um i've gotten ghosted a bunch the last uh, few months and it sucked and people that you really thought would be there forever and they're i don't know where they are and it doesn't really matter but it's a situation where that truth really fucking hurt. And it's as if that person were to come in and to offer communication with me and to kind of tell me, you know, this is why I ghosted you. This is why that happened. The truth is going to hurt, but it is at least going to be balanced. It's something that will make you feel like, all right, this person did something really shitty. They took their, they took a lot from me when they ghosted me, when they did this specific thing. It doesn't have to be ghosting. Take that how it applies. Some of you, that might resonate. But the Three of Swords is a painful truth. So you're going to be learning the truth about a situation. It's going to be incoming messages. It's something that you are not going to expect. You probably haven't talked to this person in a while, or you're not expecting for this person to live up to this, or really make this known as to why this is coming out. I would like, ooh, since this is very tricky energy, I would like one card for where this goes for Aries after the Three of Swords comes out, after the Eight of Wands comes in. Where does this go for Aries afterwards? Somebody is coming in to offer you an apology, an acceptance, a gift of renewal, their friendship. It is going to be a nostalgic card. They are going to be offering you an apology. They are going to be offering you a gift or gifts. It is something that you, if this person was a cunt to you, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think I can say that word on YouTube. If that person was a dick to you, <laughs> get fucking deleted off YouTube now. If that person was an asshole to you. And you don't want this person back and they come back with this energy. My best advice for you, you don't have to take the person back. But please take the apology. Please take this forgiveness. Please, please, please at least take the apology. You don't have to take the fucking person back. But accept the apology. If you do anything, please just accept the apology, Aries. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be something that you didn't expect. It's going to be something that turns into something better than it was. There's going to be karma with this situation. There's going to be a feeling that things are rebalanced and fair for you, Aries. This is actually a really good spread when I'm looking at it, the light that I'm looking at it. Be careful with this person. If you don't want them back, you don't have to have them back. But take the apology. I'll see you next time. Please take care. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, my moon tribe.